Okay, hi everybody. We're working through the quadratic functions in the uh, in equations review. This is question 21E. Now, this is not in a beautiful form right now the way it works here. What we need to do here is convert this into something that we can use. And to do that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply okay, each term here by uh, a common denominator. Now, I've got x minus 1 in the denominator, x plus 2 in the denominator, and x in the denominator. I know the temptation is to think that x is common, but that's a, a misuse of that word common. Yes, I know it it's shows up in all three, but when we say common, we mean common factor. Okay, we don't typically use that word at the end here. So this is x in this case is not a factor of x minus 1. X is, an, if you really want the word, it's an add end. It's being, the uh, negative 1 is being subtracted from it. Okay, so the best I can do here is just multiply those denominators together. So that's x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x. And if I multiply this by this first term here, okay, these all three go in the numerator, so 4 times x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x, but the x minus 1 cancels and I'm left with 4 x plus 2 times x. Minus, okay, from the sign in between, 5 gets multiplied by x minus 1, x plus 2 by x. But this time the x plus 2's cancel, and you're left with 5 times x minus 1, x. On the right-hand side, okay, and that's because everything is getting multiplied by this common denominator, um, I would multiply 3, the numerator, by x minus 1, x plus 2, x. But this time the x's are going to cancel, and so what I'll be left with is 3, x minus 1, x plus 2. Now this needs to be expanded out and this is going to end up getting me 4x squared plus 8x uh, minus 5x squared plus 5x is equal to, okay, x times x, x squared, but there's a 3 out front, so 3x squared. Uh, positive 2x minus x is going to be positive 1x times 3 is plus 3x. Okay, uh, minus 1 times 2 is negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Okay, so what we're going to do here is now I'm going to take a quick look at the, the quadratic terms because now this is a quadratic equation. It's just kind of big and ugly here. I've got 4x squared and negative 5x squared. So there's actually a negative 1x squared when you put those together on the left-hand side. Well, I'm going to bring that over. So we're going to move our attention over to the right-hand sides. So if I do that, we're going to leave a 0 on the left-hand side. And so I'm going to bring that 1x squared, that negative 1x squared on the left-hand side to the right, and that'll make that positive 4x squared. 8x plus 5x is 13x. So when I bring that over, this will become minus 10x minus 6. Uh, there's a common factor of 2 to all of these numbers now, and I'm, going to, I'm, I'm lazy. I want to work with small numbers. So I'm going to divide everything through by 2. So 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Now, my hope is that this can factor. So now I'm going to just come over here. So 0 is equal to, or sorry, I should, I should do it like, um, well, we'll do, it, we'll do it like this. I'll do a little bit of guessing check. I'll model that for you guys right now. And actually, guessing and checking for this particular question is actually a, a fairly effective way of factoring. 2x squared. 2 is a prime number. Its only factors are 2 and 1. So 2x and 1x. It's the only way that can work. And additionally, negative 3. Well, 3 all by itself. Look at 3. 3 is also a prime factor. It can only be broken up into 1 and 3. Now, that's either going to be a 1 and a 3 or a 3 and a 1. So what you do is you just, you just test it. So if I make this 1 and 3, is it possible for me to get a negative 5 when I when I multiply the outer terms and the inner terms and then add them together. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times x is, is 1x. And as long as that becomes negative 6 plus 1, that works. So I get the negative 6 by making the 3 negative, and I get the positive 1 by making the 1 neg uh, positive here. And so that's, those are the factors we're looking for. So now, either 2x plus 1 equals 0, or x minus 3 is equal to 0. It's got to be one of those two factors must be equivalent to 0. And if this is true, 
bring the one over, make it negative, subtract it from both sides, so I get two x equals negative one, then divide by two, so negative one half, or bring the three over, x is equal to positive three. So there's my two roots there. I know it's kind of small there, but negative one half and three.